up dear friends today we set up this uh, orange pi zero two watt all you need is this device of course i put the link in the description where you can buy it then you need a little adapter for this little sd card we will flash first the um, orange pi os on this little sd card and then put in this device and then we will boot and look. Just visit the orangepie.org homepage, then you choose your device, in this case the Orange Pi 02. Scroll down and here are the official images. Not use this one here from Raspberry Pi, it's not working. You go crazy. Just use this Ubuntu image, click download. Then you see here two versions, kernel 5.4, 6.1, then you choose this one, 6.1, then you go on download here, then here open a window, prepare download, and one file will be uh, zipped or something is meaning in English. This takes some time, so it will not directly uh, appear in your download folder. It is still sitting, you see, and slowly yeah, takes some time. If sipping is finished, it's so a download start, and directly that start three times the same file. I don't know, you can, of course, Cancel two and only download one file, 1 1.7 gigabyte. It takes some time. My internet is slow here, and not too fast. Have to wait 20 minutes or something. So after download finished, you get this file here. It is a zip file. You unzip it, then you get this folder here. Then we go in this folder. And here you have another folder called for development boards with 1.6 gigabyte memory. Then you open this one and then you see here two more zip files. And then you have here a desktop version and a server version. You extract this server version here. We not want the desktop, we only want the Linux server. If you extract this, you get this folder and inside here finally is the image. This image we flash to our SD card with Balena Etcher. I use this program, there are others of course also, but this one is working pretty good for me. Takes some time to open. Now, finally, and now you start here, flash from file, you choose your image in the, from the download folder I just showed you, Jamie server image, you go open, then you select the target. I guess most of you know this already, how this works, and no explanation needed, but, but I want to do step by step. Then you choose your SSD card here, 67 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, enough already, you know. Select, and now you choose flash. Now you want to have your password from your computer. And now the program starts flashing the, dev the device. This will take some minutes. Depend if you have a good SD card, it go a little faster. If you have a cheap one, it takes a long time. After you uh, flash the file and after validating, you get on Mac at least, I don't know in Windows, but on Mac you get an error message like this medium cannot be read from your computer. 
but that is no problem just hit ignore nobody cares and then you can remove the the, the, SS, the SD already where it is here so now we can put this one here into our orange pie little tricky with one hand uh. Like this put inside here make sure it lock it is inside now we can plug this into electric ah first we plug in our screen where is it there's a cable here oh, what a mess here Okay, this is our small this is a small HDMI. You need a cable like this, normal HDMI and not fit inside here. Oh wait, I put the phone somewhere here, sorry. screen plugged in and now I have to look for a power cable for to power this device the power cable you have to put on the right port here you see fall down of course the light flashing already now we look at the screen and it is Booting, yeah. Take a while. But this is uh, only if you boot first time, normally it go faster. So first thing we have to do now, if it is finished booting, we have to set up the Wi-Fi. It has a LAN port also but it's much more no it has no lan port not true i use a usb lan adapter uh, first but now i found out already found out already how to set up wi-fi it is easy if you know it <laughs> i google a lot and not found anything and not working uh, for hours but it's only one uh, one word and you can set up your wi-fi very easy okay I will be back if this is finished, take a time here. So, close to finish. Here's a little error, me error message, uh, failed to start DNS mask. But this is no problem, this always appears, I have no idea what this means. Now logging in. Focus very good, no? Yeah. Ah, better now. Yeah. Okay, we are done. This is the opening screen. You see here is the temperature from CPU, memory usage, everything. Now, the first thing we have to do, I told you already, is to set up the Wi-Fi so we can download updates, we can install the C miner. To install Wi-Fi on this device, I have plugged in already a USB hub here. And on this USB hub, I have a mouse, but I not need mouse, and a keyboard with tie letters. Very interesting if you're looking for a special uh, sign. Now you will type N M T U I N M T 
O-I. I will put everything in the description. Now the network manager open. You can go on edit a connection, activate a connection or set system hostname. We go on activate connection, choose this with enter. Then you see all your available Wi-Fi connections. You choose whatever you want. I try this one here. Then you have to put in a password, of course, from your Wi-Fi. If this is done, you can go with the tap here on OK. Oh, the wrong key. Oh, here. And then hit enter again. And now he try to connect to the Wi-Fi. Last time I did it with the other device, I need three, four times, uh, but now directly working. Uh, if you see here a little, this little star here, then this, this Wi-Fi is activated already. Then you go all the way down to back, hit enter, and then again on OK. Yeah. Ah, no, this was wrong. Sorry. Go back. And now on quit, I guess not. I have to go on quit. Yeah, we finish with this one. Now here's your comment line down here. And now we install uh, CC Miner next. You can do now a sudo get update, sudo get upgrade, but this you know, you guys know already, I just want to make this video a little more short. So this is a command line for to install CC miner. You write curl, uh, what is this here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know the English name. This is a OK raw GitHub user content, Android mining, blah, 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 mine, Eastern shell and bash. I will make this uh, this link under the uh, this line. I will make under the video for you. It's much more easy. Then you hit enter, and now CC Miner is installing already. Before the installation start, it will ask you for a password for Orange Pi. Say you just type Orange Pi without any space or upper letter, just orange pie like it is written down here. Okay, CC Miner is installed now. And now, first thing before we edit the config file, uh, we want the orange pie, if, uh, it, lo if it lose power, we want that it uh, boot automatically and start uh, the miner again automatically. So you not need to log in again or look at screen and do all this typing. It should all go automatically if you use power and start mining again. Therefore, we have to type in here, cron, tap, cron tap, cron tap, cron tap, space, E, hit enter, and then you see here you can select the editor, one, two, or three. We choose this only. Uh, uh, this message only appears if you open the first time. Later it appears not anymore. But now we choose the um, uh, editor, so we take number one. Hit enter, and now this field appears here. I don't know if you can see it good. Now we go down here with, with the cursor until we are here, you see. And there we write at reboot. Then you need this little, I don't know, it is called tilde in German, but I don't know in English. It's this little snake thing here. Uh, slash cc minor slash start 
shell. Okay. Then you hit enter. And then we have to save this. Uh, Ctrl X, I guess I try. Yes. You hit Ctrl X and then you get save modified buffer. You, you choose yes and then save file name to write and then you hit enter. Finished. And now the miner should reboot automatically if it lose power. I make CDCC miner and now I'm in the folder and now we do nano config is this you know already nano config JSON <coughs> And then it open up here. Here you can put in your pool. Here your second address from pool. I always put here. Uh, I am with Viper at the moment. I I use Singapore Viper and port. And here I use China Viper and port. And if this one is not working, it automatically switch to this pool. This is not. This is good. And here you put just your wallet address dot and then your worker name. That's it. Okay, I put now all my information inside the config file. SG Viper for Singapore and CN for China. Here my wallet address and orange pie number two because it's the second one. Then you hit Control X for to save. Then you hit yes and then enter. Now save. Now we can start the miner already. This you know everything already, but screen you can watch what the miner is doing. Screen X. And now you see mining already. Eight minor threads started using various algorithm. It takes now two three minutes until you see the full uh, hash rate, and until the miner show up in your pool. You see, we have the first accepted shares. Now we can switch to our pool and look. If the miner will appear there, here's our wiper pool. Here's our first one, orange pie one. Here are my Samsung phones. Now we hit refresh, maybe it appear already. Yeah, here it is, orange pie number two. So it is working and hashing. You see the average hash rate is 2.1. No, not the current hash rate, average hash rate one hour. And here you see the average hash rate in 24 hours. So you can say, like I show you before, one point in the other video, 1.7 mega hashes you can expect from this device. It's not too bad for this size. Now if you compare to my hand here, this is very, very small. No? Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find something useful in it. Bye-bye.